What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I want to be talking about... I want to be talking about... Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I want to talk about VAR in the Premier League, VAR. What are your thoughts on it? For me personally, when it first came out, I was like, no, totally against it. I hated the idea of it. I just thought it was way too technical and the momentum of the game would be ruined and it would just be so boring. You know, you, you want to celebrate a goal and you have to wait to find out is it actually a goal. I just thought I was so against it and it was a big fat no from me. But after seeing it in the World Cup and, you know, in bigger games, I do think realistically it is necessary. Whether we like it or not, I think there's probably more pros than cons in this topic. And I really feel that, you know, there's no worse feeling than a goal being given against you when it's an offside goal. I don't think there's anything worse. When you know and you see and the pundits are saying that was offside, that, that shouldn't have been a goal. Or when the opposition get awarded a penalty and it was not a penalty, the player dived and, and they get it and, and it just, you feel so cheated, it's just, it's the worst feeling for me. Again, if it happens and you get a goal because of these mistakes, you know, you're just kind of like, oh yeah, it's great and you still celebrate it, but realistically it's not fair, it's, it's cheating and it shouldn't be allowed. So, you know, people can be happy about it and people can be sad. Um, obviously, if you get a goal, you're happy, but if a goal is given against you, I, I just find it's really crushing and I hate it. So, fair is fair and I do think that that'll just stop that and it'll stop the cheats. All the divers, especially in the Premier League, you've got players who literally feel something and just flop. It's embarrassing, it's so embarrassing. And even players at United, when I'm watching my guys play, I'm like, really, did you have to dive like that? Um, yeah, so I don't know, I just, I feel like at the start I was totally against it, but when you've actually seen goals that have been awarded that just didn't deserve to be, that's when you kind of change your mind and I really feel that now I have changed my mind and VAR should be used and I'm not going to say I'm excited for it, but I'm looking forward to seeing how the game changes with this. Um, I hope it changes for the better, but you never know, it could just ruin it completely. Like, you want to celebrate a goal and, you know, I think VAR can just drain it, you know, the goal scored, but you've kind of lost that buzz, you know, you've waited to see, is it actually a goal? And then you just feel relief instead of excitement or happiness, and um, it's all just kind of, oh, I feel relieved. But I still think it's a good idea. But also, it can, like, drag out, so, like, it does make the game a bit longer and stuff, but I love football and I love watching it all the time so i don't care if it's much longer so that's that's kind of irrelevant for me but i just want to know your thoughts on var are you happy about it have you ever been screwed over by var or do you feel that it is the best option for the premier league and for football all over the world i want to know your thoughts on that topic also one thing i want to talk about today is paul pogba and that bloody run that penalty run up like why okay so after he missed the penalty recently, the most recent one that he he um, tapped it, I think it was at Pickford, maybe, it was, I don't know. So he done his little run up, which is like, doo, 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 doo. it's just so annoying, and he mocked himself online after, and I thought, okay, right, I wouldn't do it personally because I'd be embarrassed, you know, I, I'm a professional footballer, I get paid thousands and thousands, well, I don't, but if I was. Um, I would be embarrassed like you're paid so much money put the ball in the back of the net but anyway so he mocked himself after and i i did think I, that annoyed me it, it angered me but i didn't want to say anything i didn't want to even allow myself talk about it because you know some people thought it was funny and i didn't want to be a dry shite thinking oh that is very bad he shouldn't do that no look whatever you know it's okay to take the piss out of yourself every now and again but then he's after posting another one today and it's him racing a turtle or a tor tortoise, 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 tor eh, I'm going to say turtle. Um, so yeah, he's racing the turtle and he's like doing his Pogba run and he's just mocking his, his penalty technique, if that's what you want to call it, a technique because it's not. And I honestly don't get it. Like, 
I'm laughing at that run. I'm slagging that run. It doesn't even make me laugh anymore. It just angers me. But like, for me, that run is a joke. And then he's doing, he's posting it. Like if I was the manager, I know Mourinho's a wrecked ahead anyway, but like if I was the manager and my player was missing penalties because doing this crappy run, and now he doesn't miss cause the run, but the run doesn't help. It gives the, the, the keeper more time to read the ball and to read where he's gonna go. Like I just think he should smash it in. But anyway, if my player was doing that and then posting about it online, slagging himself and mocking himself, Oh my god, there would be absolute killings in the dressing room. I just, I don't get it. I really don't. And I don't want to be a cranky old lady thinking, oh, it's not funny. Like, does anyone else feel like this? Or is it just me? Am I just a grouch who needs to lighten up and enjoy the penalties even when they're missed? See, maybe it wouldn't annoy me as much if we were winning games and scoring lots of goals. And, you know, fair enough. Like Memphis Depay did... Uh, took a penalty the other day against France and he did a Paneca over uh, what's his name Loris or whatever and it was a great goal a great you know but if he didn't pull that off you know the world is talking the world will be laughing at you know ah, he tried to do it it didn't work but he did it and it, he scored so I think if Paul Pogba is gonna do this technique in taking penalties he needs to be putting them away and what two and five or two and six that he has missed I just think it's disgraceful for a player of that caliber, for a player who gets paid that much, for a player who's considered one of the best midfielders in the world to be taking penalties like that. I just can't see how it's funny. I can't. Um, but again, let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think it's funny? You probably do. If you're not a United fan, I'm sure you do think it's funny and you want him to continue doing these run-ups, but I sure as hell don't. 100% do not want that to happen. So guys, the Premier League is back this weekend. I missed it so much. I don't like international breaks, but it has been a good, enjoyable international break in saying that. Like, you know, there was a, a great few games and Croatia beating Spain in the last minute, although I love Spain. You know, it was still an interesting game. Um, the only games that I don't enjoy are the ones that I should be enjoying, which are Ireland games, because Ireland lose all the time and they drew with Northern Ireland the other day. They also play tonight, and um, they play Denmark, in Denmark. So, if we couldn't beat Northern Ireland at home, I'm gonna go with a trashing away against Denmark. It'll probably be 3-0, 3 or 4-0, and I know that's awful, I'm an Irish person, I should support my team, and I do support my team, but I just feel so drained. Both club and country always let me down. But that's life and hopefully it picks up. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe and I will see you for the next one.